All right, and we are back and better than ever, of course. My name, welcome everybody. This is Mike Riley with MikeRileyNow.com and the USAPodcast.com here on behalf of the Grassroots Democrats HQ in Los Angeles. You can log on to grassrootsdems.org to find out more information about that. And we are speaking with a number of different volunteers from the Grassroots Dems HQ, uh, especially this week, uh, because this week, or this past week rather, we celebrated the 100th anniversary of the passing of the 19th Amendment, which is great, uh, which uh, solidified women's suffrage here in the United States. And we're gonna be talking to um, uh, one of our volunteers today about her experience dealing with that and ushering the blue wave. Hey, Aquiel, this is Aquiel. Hey, Aquiel, how are you doing today? Hi. Excellent. Your... Good, how are you? I'm doing great. I'm doing real good. This is the studio audience round of applause you get right here. You know, just... anyway. <laughs> well, thank you so much, Aquiel, for joining us this morning. So you've been volunteering with the HQ for, for quite a bit of time, uh, I know, uh, or at least this last year. And uh, so can you tell me how this past week has kind of fired you up a little bit, if at all, with the passing of the 19th Amendment, with the 100th anniversary of the passing of the 19th Amendment? Has that fired you up, inspired you a little bit more this week with your volunteering? Um, yes, it has, just because it was a very important, I guess, starting block for people, allowing people like me to vote. Even even though I do recognize that people like me weren't really allowed to vote until much later, I recognize it as a very important stepping block. And I think that's a good metaphor for this election. While the, our, the current Democratic nominee isn't necessarily who I wanted in the beginning, I recognize that Joe Biden is a very important stepping block in where we want to go. So that's just gotten me really excited. Absolutely. Absolutely. Especially with picking Kamala as his running mate and that whole yeah. thing. That was a huge stepping block. Um, so with your volunteering this week, have you noticed that um, some of the people, because like what you do with your volunteering is you, you do phone banking, the text messaging and things like that. Do you do any of the training? Uh, no, I do not do any of the training, but I mainly, my main things are postcard and letter writing and then phone banking. Okay, so with the phone banking and stuff like that, have you noticed that people have been have been fired up for this election, especially women, uh, in in this in this time coming up to November? Yes, I have noticed that a lot of people people are getting more excited. They are having more questions about the election, and a lot of the people I've talked to seem very interested in voting and just want to get more informed. So I have noticed that a lot. Absolutely, oh, that's really good. I'm glad to know that people want to get more informed. That's really good. Have you been working with um, with Grassroots Democrats HQ and, and the Women's March Action, doing some of the um, doing some of the uh, uh, the women phone banks that have been taking place on Tuesdays? Uh, I haven't really had the time in the previous weeks, but I have when I do get the chance on different phone banks. I do try to target the um, no party preference women's mm -hmm. list that they have and mm -hmm. try to get engaged with them since they always seem to be receptive. Oh, awesome. What's that been like with them always being receptive? Has it been a cool experience? It's been, it's made phone banking a lot more, I guess, pleasant and something that, and encouraging because as you know, with phone banking, you tend to get a lot of either hangups or no answers. So when they do answer, it just makes me feel a lot better that I'm actually contributing. Yeah. Well, and of contributing sorry i didn't mean to cut you off <laughs> I, have horrible, I have a horrible tendency to do that but uh, speaking of contributing um you know a lot of people feel like their individual vote or their small contribution won't make a difference and i was talking to another volunteer earlier about i'm sure there are plenty of people especially women that may have felt that way 100 years ago like well my right. small contribution can make a difference and things like that and obviously it did what about you? Do you feel like your contribution that you're doing and, you, and the volunteering that you're doing is going to make a, a difference this November? Um, well, I will, I do think that what I'm doing is going to make a difference. However, we really won't know until November, but I really do hope that what I'm doing, reaching out to people, trying to get them to vote, will make some small difference because as we found out uh, during the last election every vote counts so if i'm able to get at least 
five people to decide to vote, it, it will make me very happy. Absolutely. How important do you think women's voices are in this election? I think they are very important due to a lot of issues just really affecting women from health care to criminal justice to education and really during this pandemic it has brought a lot of women's issues to the forefront especially since with the workforce a lot of women are being really forced to be the caretakers with kids at home and everything like that so i believe women's voices are very important because the pandemic is particularly hitting women a bit harder for sure absolutely well, Aquiel, thank you so much. And all of you out there in Zoom land or, or, or on the internet or however you're watching this, <laughs> you could be just like Aquiel as well. You can go to Grassroots Dems HQ and sign up to volunteer. You will get trained. You can learn how to write letters. You can learn how to postcard. You can learn how to phone bank. You can learn how to usher in this blue wave so we can end this whole thing that's going on in the White House, which would be a very, very wonderful thing. Aquiel, thank you so much for joining me. I really appreciate it. And y'all out thank there- Thank you for having me. Yeah, absolutely. Peace.